It's a bit difficult. This is the first time that I have entered the space of the Altria since June the 6th. Richmond School Board member Dr. Shonda Harris Muhammad takes a moment to acknowledge her surroundings. It's like a grieving process for me. She was here at the Altria Theater on June 6th when seven people were shot following Huguenot's graduation. Two of them died, including Sean Jackson, who had just received his diploma. Where I'm in that next level, that next phase of what happens next in order for me to heal. Part of that next step, Harris Muhammad says, includes digging into the events that led up to the shooting. It's a conflict of interest for me to have our superintendent do a thorough investigation of what happened on June the 6th. I firmly stand in the belief that we need a third party investigation. She's proposing that the school board contracts an outside company to investigate the school division side of this incident. For example, the decision to allow Jackson at graduation. RPS says that he was on homebound instruction and an email that we obtained shows the reason was partly due to the threat of neighborhood violence. We have to ensure that the information that is presented to us is the full story. And when that information came out, of course, it created another tier level of questioning. The homebound manual states in bold that students may not attend school-sponsored activities without permission from the principal or a designee. In Jackson's case, an internal report shows that a school employee acting as a designee approved his participation. Where was the administration at Huguenot High School when determining if the student should participate in graduation or not. Like, what was the role? That needs to be clear. Harris Muhammad also wants a third party review into the safety protocols that day. RPS's internal report shows that all guests went through metal detectors at the front entrance and all students and just some adults were wanted at the side door. While there are still two crime scene guns that are unaccounted for, police say that they quote, don't believe firearms were in inside the Altria. Was every person who came through that side door wanted? Yes or no, provide the evidence. And we don't have the evidence of that right now. We do not. Now, Harris Muhammad plans to formally introduce the proposal for a third party investigation at Monday's school board meeting. We reached out to the RPS administration for a response, and at this time they say they are not making any comments ahead of that meeting. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.